The challenge facing first-time buyers today is bigger than anything we've seen before. Just this year alone, the price of a home in the UK has soared by an average of 9.8% uh, to £278,000, which is 24,000 pounds higher than this time last year. And in 2021, prices rose faster than wages. So that if you're one of the millions and millions of people outside uh, the housing market and you're looking in, for every week and month that goes by, the dream of home ownership recedes further into the distance. We face global pressures on prices caused by the lingering effects of COVID and the shock of Putin's aggression in Ukraine. I want us to deliver on the long-standing commitment made by several governments to extend the right to buy to housing associations. Over the coming months, we will work with the sector to bring forward a new right to buy scheme. It will work for tenants, giving millions more the chance to own their own home. It will work for taxpayers, responsibly capped at a level that is fully paid for, affordable within our existing spending plans, and with one-for-one -one replacement of each social housing property sold. So what we expect um, as we go through the year is the housing market to slow. Um, with the household finances under a lot of pressure at the moment, in particular from rising energy costs, um, and coupled with lower consumer confidence, we're expecting this to lead to weaker um, housing demand and weaker house price growth as we go through later into the year. Um, moreover, we expect the Bank of England to uh, increase interest rates further from where we currently are, um, and that's ex expected to exert a cooling impact by feeding through to mortgage rates.